I think it's important that we don't lose who we are as, as, a, as a country or the people on the island. I think um, sports tourism is obviously it's a growing industry and we are here just to try and enhance that a lot more. Um, we, we have some things that we need to improve on to make sure that the standard maintains. But as a, as a, for me as well, what is important that, as you said, don't lose our culture because culture is part of who we are and uh, we want to make sure and maintain that as well. I'm very proud of Trinidad and Tobago. And, um, you know, as you mentioned early on, we are not, we have not been concentrating on, on the tourism market because of that uh, petrochemical, that, 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 uh, that's our GDP, our main product. So now that we're diversifying, I feel it necessary as, as an ambassador, like Dwight is of uh, sport and tourism, that we get the message out there. Trinidad and Tobago is a beautiful place. There are a lot of areas in Trinidad and Tobago that need to be discovered. You mentioned quite a few. And I love doing it myself, taking my two kids and going out to the country, going out to the north coast, going to the bird sanctuary or watching turtles in, in Toko. These are things that, for me, you know, I feel it's very, very special to have in a country. And I love people to come in and experience it. And um, even as you said, have local people know exactly the products and the different uh, things that we have that are special to Trinidad and Tobago. Our tourism is something that we rely heavily on. Um, we want people to come in and experience what we have on, uh, on, on show. Not just about, you know, as I said, the people. Well, we have beautiful beaches just like all the rest of the Caribbean islands. You know, the food, the culture, all of that. And uh, we are here to try and enhance that as, as best as we can to make sure that we are a, a, a tourist uh, industry as well. One of the assets of Trinidad and Tobago, our people, how affable we are. And, you know, you would arrive in a country and the first couple hours that you're there, you know, you'd feel like if you belong there and people treat you in a certain way. And that's the friendly atmosphere that, you know, we need to project and that we have. I mean, we have not sold it, you know, on the market. You know, we're not out there pushing it enough. And Trinidad and Tobago and the people, very, very special, very friendly, and um, you would have a wonderful time. You know, we have a few things, as Dwight said, to improve on in terms of our, our rooms in Trinidad and Tobago. We've got maybe just under 3,000. We need to get a lot more uh, if we're going to encourage tourism, especially leisure tourism. And um, these are things that we're working on. And, I mean, I've said it, you know, I can't say enough. You know, Trinidad is a wonderful place, and we just want to encourage people to come and enjoy. Not just Carnival, which we do have a lot of... Um, people coming during that period of time, but we have a lot of cultural and uh, ethnical people in Trinidad, celebrations, festivals that, you know, you come and you enjoy, and um, this is what we hear promoting.